very good morning to all i am ansadish kumar assistant professor in aml department working at rmd engineering college in this session we are going to discuss about bus structure and its operations this belongs to unit 5 i want memory let me discuss about bus bus is used for communication purpose in simple we can say it used to carry the data from one end to another end or signal from one end to another end a bus is a set of electrical wires that connects the various hardware component of a computer system it works as a communication path through which the information flow from one hardware component to another hardware component This diagram indicates that various components connected to the bus, and the arrow is indicated single headed arrow, double headed arrow. So, a single headed arrow which used for uni communications, and double headed indicates which indicates bi-directional connections. That means it can able to send to and fro signals. first we discuss about data bus data bus used for transmitting the data or instruction from cp to memory and vice versa it is a bidirectional bus the width of the data bus refers to number of bits that bus can carry at a time each line carries one bit at a time so the number of lines in data bus determines how many bit can be transmitted transferred parallelly the width of the data bus is important parameter which determines how much data can be transmitted at one time the wider bus width faster would be a data flow on the data bus thus it would be a improve the system performance next we going to discuss about control bus control bus used to transfer the control and timing signal from one component to another component cpu uses the control buses to communicate with the device that are connected to the computer system it is bidirectional bus and it has some control signals such as memory read memory write io read and i o right next we going to discuss about address bus address bus used to carry the address from cpu to memory devices it is used to identify a particular location in memory it is a uni directional when bus want to read or write a data it send a memory read or memory write control signal on the control bus to perform memory read or write operation from the main memory on the address of the memory location is sent to the address bus the width of the address bus determines amount of physical memory addressable by the processor which it determines the size of the memory that computer can use the wider is the address bus the more memory computer will be able to use so the address capacity of the system can be increased by adding more address lines these are the three type of buses which is included in the entire system buses this is a basic operation which indicates about the bus how each bus performs its operation which is connected to the components Thank you.